Hi all. In this video, let's try to understand the memoization in JavaScript. How does it works? Memoization is a technique where it will return the value if the same input comes. So instead of uh, running the function again, it will return the value from the catch if we get the same input. So that's uh, about memoization. So let's take that with an example. So I will be taking a uh, simple addition function. So don't think that uh, uh, for this uh, small addition function, we are trying to do this, this much of mechanism. So here my agenda is just to make sure that you are understanding this memoization technique, how we are going to implement this. So you can use this technique for the further uh, big functions where uh, you can have a large number of uh, computation tasks. You can use that. So now here I'm using an uh, addition function. So where uh, I will be sending two parameters, A and B. So it returns the addition of the two numbers. So here the concept of this memorization is like, uh, uh, I will be calling this with 10 comma 20. What happens? So this function calls and this computation will work and it, it is going to return 30. So again, in a program after a few, few lines, again, if you're trying to call the same, same function with the same input again the computation of this function does here so which is not correct so now if you are sending same set of inputs again to the same function so here we need to get this data from the catch it, it needs to return the value 30 but the function should not be executed we need to return this from the catch so how we are going to achieve this this mem this with the memorization in JavaScript concept. So that is what we are going to discuss. So here we will be calling this once. So it will be executing here with 30. And later on, if you are sending the same set of input, we'll be getting that 30 from the catchy. So how we are going to create that method or uh, the functionality. So for that, I will be taking a constant. Uh, I will uh, name this as mem memorize. So here, this is a function which will do all this mechanism. So this function, uh, I will write these comments as well. This function will decide whether to call the function or to return the value from the catch. So this is the function is going to decide whether to call the addition function or not. So that's the main goal here. So for that, we need to pass the reference of the addition function so that it can decide whether to call this function or not. So for, that's the reason we wrote, we, are, we need to send the addition function to this memorize function. So uh, in short, this is an uh, higher order function where a function is passing parameter to the other function. So we can say in that case, yeah. And coming to, we need to store the data in a catchy. So I'm taking an object like a memorize catchy here. So I'm taking this object. So what does this object uh, will consist of? So in this object, we'll try to save so usually object consists of a key value. So we're trying to save the key as the input. Like uh, we'll save addition, a delimiter 10, 20. We'll keep this as a key and the 30, I, I mean the result as a value. So why I have constructed the key in this way? Because this is a function name a delimiter, you can use any of the delimiter. Here I'm using a pipe symbol and the parameters 10, 20. So function name with two parameters, I have created this property so that it should be unique. The property should be unique and the result would be stored in as a value. So in this way, this object will have a list of key value pairs where in, in future, if it gets a key like this, it will directly return the value 30. It will not do any computation. So that's the reason we need to construct this memory catchy in that way. So let's start with that. So when we call, call this memorize function, it should return a function. So I'm trying to return a function from here. These are the arguments which we are sending. I mean, uh, in our case, it would be like 10, 20. So this function, uh, initial this function should decide whether the value is present in the memo catch. If, if it is present, if it is not present, we wrote not present. So if it is not present, so then call the function and do computation. 
so what all the logic we need to do we need to do that if the value is not present in the memory if it is present in the memory just return that value just log that value because we you have that value in your memory so just log that value so that's the main uh, thing this is what we are going to do here so let's start and do that so for that uh, i will call like uh, another function like memorize addition is equal to i need to memorize this i'm calling this function with addition as a parameter so i'm passing the function reference here so where in this case i need to call this memorization in this way i will do a console let's check this so the same console i am i am using here as well so so travel with me for some time so i will try to make sure you understand this so here i am calling this function because this function will decide whether we need to call this addition or not in this function we are be having a memory i mean an object which stores the cache and will uh, decide whether to call the function or not if uh, there is no need to call the function we will be returning the value from the cache it means the value already present in the cache it means we are sending the same parameters so let's discuss i will be using uh, all the different inputs as well so let's start that so now we are calling this memorize function and passing this addition and we have created this so here we need to construct the key every time we need to construct this type of key because the key should be unique in that in that way we can decide the this uh, for this unique key we are storing the unique value of result so for that uh, we need to call we need to create the property as a unique so let's construct a property so i am trying to call a function like prop name from arguments so with the arguments we are trying to call the prop name so function to addition uh, just uh, i am trying to create one more one more function call uh, i will create one more function so this function is like a, in this function we'll be writing we'll be creating the uh, keys will will create the keys in this way so that's the reason here we are trying to call again this function in this function we'll try to create keys unique keys this function is mentioned to have a unique keys so that we can store the values with the unique keys such that next time whenever you are calling will be verifying whether the key is same as in the object such that we'll be returning the value of 30 so let's do that so here i could be same function to addition comma arguments so we are sending these function and these arguments here so now the intention here is we need to do a prop i mean uh, you can keep any of the variables prop name uh, ideally I'm, I'm trying to create the property names here i mean property key uh, i'm trying to construct the property key so here what i'm doing is like uh, i will do a prop key dot i'm trying to concatenate the here if you observe the key should be unique for that what we have used is the function name a delimiter and the arguments so that is what we are trying to do here so for that we need to do this i mean uh, here in this function to addition we will be having addition function reference so if i tell reference dot name i will be getting the name in this case it would be addition so i am trying to concatenate that with the arguments so when i write this line what happens it will give an array like this addition comma 10 comma 20 this is what we are going to get so we will keep that in the property prop key here so later we need to return back this unique key to where it is calling so prop key dot j join i am trying to join these with the delimiter pipe so in this case what it happens this array will be converting into a string like this addition 5 10 5 20 
why we are doing all these things is to generate a unique key. This is to generate a unique key so that you can save its unique value in the memory cache. So here we have done, we have called this prop name from arguments. Here why we have taken the function reference and arguments. We are trying to concatenate this function reference dot name it gives the name of the addition and arguments it returns an array like this here we are trying to join it with the delimiter so this would be written back so here in the prop name we'll have this one so later on we'll in this function when we call this in this function we'll use that as a prop name in the property name we'll use that prop name if that property is exist in this memo function if it exists this property is exist we can if it is not exist we need to call and do the computation as we wrote the comment here we need to call and we need to do the computation for that then you are deciding to call the function so now call the function with the required arguments so you have called this because the value we are looking into is not present in the memory so you are calling the function this some function and you're getting the result back. So now at least you need to save that in a memory cache. So now you are going to save that in a memory cache with the prop name. So with the same prop name, you are going to save this. So if it is first time you're calling this function and it, it will store the value. Now in this property, it will be sto storing like this. So you can return, return the result of memo cache prop name so it will return the result of 30 because we are accessing this object with the key so if you access the object with this key it will return back this 30 value so if it is value is exist so already if it is exist in the memory you can return that from the cache so that's simple yep so instead writing it two times if the value is not there in the memory cache you are trying to call that function doing some computation and once the value of this computation is written from this method you are storing that in the cache and that cached value is written back so for the first function call this will happen for the second function call you are trying to call the else you will be getting the value from the cache so instead writing two return statements in if and else we can omit one i mean uh, i'm uh, trying to delete one and i will push that to the end of the function so in this way we can optimize if this case happens or if this case happens we are going to return the memory value property fine here what happened here so we have taken the memorize uh, function reference and we are trying to send two parameters here which will go to this the reference of this function will go here and now here we are using a closure functions where this closure function receives the second arguments like this and later on here we are trying to find an unique property we are unique key we are constructing a unique key like this such that for next inputs we will verify whether the same key is there or not why we are constructing the unique key means in case if in future the we'll get like uh, some values uh, if you are not constructing the unique key for the different values also the function may feel that it is a different value and it will return from the cache that should not happen so that's the reason we are constructing our own key in this way there won't be any ambiguities in the result so let's check it yeah. so the first 30 came from the real execution so here the computation was done and in the next execution we are getting it from cache from cache 30 so that is what happened here so we can we can take a number of uh, inputs here. So let me take one more input. Uh, I will take different inputs like uh, I will give 20, 20. And uh, here I will give again 20, 20. Let's see what happens. So even first I get 30, 40. From catchy 30, from catchy 30. So see, we are sending, we are calling the function with two different parameters, even though our function is capable of storing all the inputs. So not just one recently called function, it will call, it will store n number of functions like this. You can give here 30, 
and again i will uh, give the same function in the last see i'm calling this multiple times so the first three functions are unique time so it means first three will be called uniquely so rest and later those values should be stored in this memorize object this is a catchy in our in our case this is a catchy so this will catch all these values and the keys it will generate the keys and the values and then we are calling the same functions with the same parameters inputs then it will not execute this function part it will directly pick from the memory i mean from this memory object and it will show that so that's all about this memoization in javascript hope you understand the video thanks for watching